The voice of Yahweh. Hi, this is Sarai. God recently gave me a dream to make this video. And this video is about the fact that most of the Christians are getting left behind in the rapture. And it's because there's a huge lack of love among the Christians. In Matthew 24, Jesus talks about the signs of his return, and I'd like for you to read the 12th and 13th verses. Jesus says, Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. So I've been a believer all my life since I was five years old when I started studying the Bible and praying and I received gifts of the Holy Spirit as a child when I said my first prayer to Jehovah when I was five years old. So I've been preaching and doing ministry my entire life since childhood and in 2008 I said a prayer and told Jehovah God that I will go anywhere in the world that he sends me to to serve him and his son Jesus Christ. So God sent me to many countries and almost all the states in the U.S. to do ministry. In 2009, God sent me by means of dreams, visions, and prayers to do ministry in Washington, D.C. and Virginia. My ministry is called Tree of Life and my calling in God's kingdom is that I'm a prophet and one of the two witnesses of Revelation 11. My 1,260 days of prophecy of, as one of the two witnesses hasn't started yet, but will start soon. So at that time, I was going to a Pentecostal church that was in 2009. And I invited two people from my church to go with me to Washington, D.C. and Virginia. So Kayla and Maurice went with me. I was paying for all the expenses of the ministry, like the hotels, the car rental, the food, and I even bought some clothes and jewelry for Kayla. Ended up sending Kayla home because she came against me in my ministry, so then my friend Troy called me and said that he want, always wanted to be a missionary and he wanted to join the ministry trip. So I bought him a ticket to fly from Wisconsin to Washington, D.C. So at the end of three weeks, I was running out of money and I only had money for three more days at the hotel and all my credit cards were maxed out. And my bank account was overdrawn. We had absolutely no money to even get back home. Maurice and I needed to fly to San Diego and Troy needed to fly to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Before I left on this trip, I prayed about the trip and I heard God tell me to trust him and that he would take care of all of my needs, including my financial needs of the trip because when I left uh, I didn't have enough money for this ministry trip. So even though the situation looked really bad I had faith that God would provide. Maurice also had faith but Troy lacked faith so Troy got really upset at me and he got a phone book at the hotel and he looked up churches and he spent about three days calling about 300 churches in, in the area in Virginia and Washington, D.C. <clears throat> he was checking off each church he called. So there was just rows and rows and pages of churches that he called. And he told 
the pastors or he left voicemails asking them to help us three uh, missionaries because we were stranded on the East Coast and needed to get back home. We even went to a Christian church and told the pastor what our situation was and we asked him for help. So that pastor didn't help us at all. Troy left voicemails at all of the three, 300 or so churches and no one, not one person called us back to help. Troy asked me to call some churches, so I called a lot of churches too and left voicemail, voicemails, and no one called us back or helped us. So I know that the Father and Jesus allowed this situation to happen to test the faith and love of the Christians. 